Time of year when some people may suffer from seasonal affective disorder. And with the pandemic creating extra stress, local organizations are working to help those in need. Sherry McBroom spoke with local specialists and a counselor about how people can overcome this difficult period. Sherry. Mental health, including seasonal affective disorder, depression, and anxiety, are just as important as physical health, which is why one counselor that I spoke with says this pandemic has brought its own form of seasonal depression. Seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression that is related to changes in seasons. Health experts say it typically occurs during the fall and winter. And this year, the coronavirus can create an even bigger strain on mental health. People that are being isolated and not, you know, getting to see family as much this year may have impacted it. What would have normally isolated people with the cold weather it has been enhanced with, you know, fear of the virus. So. I do think that we're seeing a lot more depression related to that. Staff at Indiana State University's Counseling Center have been using teletherapy to help their patients during the pandemic and say it's important to find ways to be accessible to their students. Getting that professional help if you feel like you are at that level and you need that. Um, there's also, you know, medication that um, is available to assist when there are chemical things going on with the brain that you know, are a factor in the struggle. If you or someone you know suffers from seasonal effect disorder or depression, the Hamilton Center has these tips. Really focus on that resilient behavior and those thoughts. Um, so just being more mindful of um, their positives and the gratitude that they do have in their life, prioritizing those um, special or important relationships that they do have, reaching out to those people, whether that be family, friends, neighbors, to get that support that they need. Owen says that seasonal depression tends to affect women more than men and with younger women seeing it more than those of older age. 